Meet Millie, a feisty one-pound chihuahua. People love to see Millie because she's so teeny in size, and she's so playful, and she's so happy. The average chihuahua stands about five inches tall. At 3.8 inches, Millie's shorter than a soda can and tinier than a teacup. This extra mini size landed her the title, the world's smallest living dog. At birth, Millie had a slim chance of survival, but owner Vanessa Semler did not give up on her. To keep the puppy alive, Vanessa fed her milk every two hours through an eyedropper. I know she can make it because Millie was, the first moment I saw her, she had so much life. Millie thrived and in 12 months grew to her present size of 3.8 inches. Millie, the miracle dog, inspires awe and joy. And her doting parents couldn't be more proud. Meet Pig, a one-year-old chow mix with an unusually short spine. She was this little, tiny, fluffy, about four-week-old, white and brown spotted puppy. The, the name Pig came because she doesn't have a neck and she looked very much like a little piglet, especially when she was very tiny. She has a spinal condition that makes her look very awkward. Pig's shape is the result of a rare birth defect called short spine syndrome. This miracle mutt's physical anomalies may look bizarre, but her fighting spirit helps her defy all odds. She has a, a zest for life that is like the Energizer bunny, it never runs out. She very often hops like a bunny or a frog. <laughs> Pig has changed Kim's life, and she helps other people's perception of extraordinary underdogs. Meet Duncan, a spirited one-year-old boxer who walks on two legs. He is so happy and so energetic and so optimistic. <laughs> he wakes up and he's like, what are we doing today? And you're like, we're gonna start with breakfast. And he's like, yes! And then you're like, we're gonna go outside. And he's like, yes! <laughs> so <laughs> Duncan meets every single thing that we do with enthusiasm. Of all the pooches Amanda's rescued and rehomed, there's never been any quite like Duncan. He was born with deformed back legs that had fused in a crisscross bone like a pretzel. And there was no way for us to actually straighten those limbs. The solution was either euthanasia or to amputate. Amanda decided to give this little pup a second chance at life. Duncan is my heart dog. He's changed my life. He's made me a better person. He is the most amazing animal that I've ever been around. Duncan's media attention is to educate people that dogs like Duncan are perfectly fine to save. And not just fine, but thrive. And I appreciate what he's done for my life and for my family's life and for so many people around us. 